Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a DIY project creating some bath salts and sugar scrubs. I'll start off with the sugar scrub, which is basically sugar and oil and essential oils for a good scent. And this is a really great exfoliant, especially after the dry days of winter. I am using one cup of organic cane sugar and this is unbleached. It has a really nice grit to put into my mixture. I'm also using one half cup of organic virgin olive oil, and this is really great for your skin. You can also use it for your cuticles. The sugar scrub is really easy to make. I'll just pour my olive oil right into the sugar and it'll absorb in really well. Once I have that poured in, I'll stir it really well to make sure I've incorporated all the oil into the sugar. I'll be using some essential oils, and these are also organic, so I've created an entirely organic scrub and I've chosen lavender. I absolutely love lavender. So you can do five to 10 drops of your essential oils or more as needed. If you're using coconut oil, you wanna keep in mind that the coconut will also have a scent to it. I'll stir my scrub again to make sure that I have my essential oils well mixed in. I have a few jars here. This is a four ounce jar and I wanted to show you the lid really quickly. It has a little seal in here which will hold the oils into the container. I think that food jars work the best. You can also use some coffee drink jars since they also have a really good seal for liquids. So once I have this really well mixed in, I am going to scoop some up and I have a little wooden spoon that fits right into that lip. So I'll fill up this jar and seal that off and continue filling the rest of my jars. This recipe will make about 12 ounces of sugar scrub. Next up, I'll be creating some bath salts and I'll start off with one cup of Epsom salt and this is really great for soothing sore muscles and relaxing. Also, I have a half a cup of sea salt and this is a natural sea salt. It's made from salt water and it's a really nice coarse salt. Adding these salt mixtures to your bath helps the water to be more dense and it's more relaxing. So just mix that right into your Epsom salt. I also have one quarter cup of baking soda, and baking soda is really good to soothe your skin. It helps with irritations, and it'll leave you relaxed with silky smooth skin. You'll want to mix all three of your ingredients together until they're well incorporated, and then we can move on to some essential oils. I'll be using two oils for this mixture. The first one will be lavender. I'm creating a lavender mint, which I thought would be really soothing in the bathtub. So I've added about five or six drops of the lavender and next I'll add in some peppermint. And for that, again, I'll do about five drops. And I'll give this a final stir before I start filling up my jars. Since this is a dry solution, it'll be really easy to just scoop my jar right into the salts to fill them up. This recipe made about 16 ounces of the bath salts. Now that my jars are filled, I'll be making some tags and I have a printout for you by following the link in the description box below to our blog post. And this has some of the suggested directions to use for the bath salts and sugar scrubs and also some of the scents that you might want to use. To cut out the names for the scents, I found that the nested banners are a great fit. I'm using the second size of the oval and that fits just perfectly around each of those essential oil names. If you like the apothecary jar look, you could glue these onto the side and it looks like it's a really nice label that fits on any size jar. For the bathing instructions, I'm using the two inch circle die from the Simon Says Stamp nested circles. And I found that that fits really nicely onto one of my larger jars. And the one and a half inch die works perfectly for the smaller jar lids. I'll be doing a little bit of stamping on my labels and I've chosen some colors that remind me of a spa and those are stone, sea foam, dusty sage, and winter sky and I'm also using these stamps from the amazing stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. I'm starting off with a one and a half inch circle that I've cut from Nina White cardstock and with winter sky I'm using one of those smaller circles and stamping off the edge to start creating a label top for my smaller jars. I'll choose another stamp and I'm going to go in this time with stone, which is a nice neutral beige and I'll stamp this right next to my first image. Some of my labels will be hanging off the side of the jar, so I'll use my crocodile to just punch a hole in the top portion. 
If you've used a laser printer to print out your instructions, you can stamp right over top. And for this one, I'm using Dusty Sage right onto that Desert Storm cardstock. And this will lighten up a bit once it has a chance to dry. Now that all my pieces are stamped and punched, I can start assembly. And I'm using the Simon Says Stamp white blue on my small white circle. And I'll be applying this to the top of my small jar. I've looped my twine through the holes of my tags and I'll be wrapping this around the jar. I want to separate the strings first and wrap it around and then I'll double back to come back to the front. And once I do that, I can secure it in place by tying a knot or I can tie a bow. These are really fun to make for yourself or as a gift, especially to find some relief after the dry winter and to get your skin in tone for spring. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check the description box below for the supplies I've used. And as always, thanks so much for watching.